Hello friends, today we solve numerical related to bending stresses in beams. In our question, data is given a simply supported steel beam of 5 meter length and having a rectangular section 200 mm wide and 300 mm deep is subjected to 10 kN per meter UDL over the entire span and a central point load of 30 kN. Calculate the maximum bending stress. So in our question first data is given there is a simply supported beam. So here we draw one simply supported beam. Simply supported beam that means support provided at the ends. So here there is a one simply supported beam and here length is given 5 meter. So simply supported beam length that is given 5 meter. So here we mark 5 meter. Next data is given and having a rectangular section 200 mm wide. Here the section of this beam that is rectangular section 200 mm wide and 300 mm deep. So 200 mm wide that means B is equal to 200 mm and 300 mm deep that means D is equal to given 300 mm is subjected to 10 kN per meter UDL over the entire span. So here UDL is acting over the entire span. And that's value is given 10 kN per meter. And a central point load of 30 kN. So here there is a one central point load. That's value is given 30 kN. So this 30 kN acting at the center. So this length is given 2.5 meter. And here this length is 2.5 meter. And here in our question we have to calculate the maximum bending stress. So in our question data is given there is a one simply supported beam 5 meter length. This beam having rectangular section 200 mm wide 300 mm deep is subjected to UDL over the entire span that is 10 kN per meter and there is one central point load that is 30 kN. Here we have to find the maximum bending stress. So according to question first we draw figure. Now what is the equation of pure bending that is m by i is equal to f by y is equal to capital E by R. m that is the moment of resistance or you can say that maximum bending moment. i that is the moment of inertia. f that is the maximum bending stress. y is equal to distance of extreme fiber from neutral axis capital E that is the modulus of elasticity and capital R that is the radius of curvature. So in our question there is no radius of curvature given and there is no modulus of elasticity. So we use equation m by i is equal to f by y. What is the meaning of m? m that is the moment of resistance or you can say that maximum bending moment. So here two condition is given. First one is simply supported beam with UDL over entire span and UDL is given 10 kN per meter. So 10 kN per meter that means 10 kN convert into Newton so 10 into 10 raised to 3 Newton and convert meter into mm so divided by 10 raised to 3. So here we convert meter into mm. So 10 raised to 3, 10 raised to 3 cancel out. So 10 Newton per mm value of UDL is given. And here length is given 5 meter. So convert it into mm. So 5000 mm. So that is the first condition. Second condition is given. There is a simply supported beam with central point load that's value is given 30 kilo newton so convert into newton so 30 into 10 raised to 3 newton and central point load so this length is 2.5 meter and here 2.5 meter so in in our case we first find maximum bending moment for these two case we already discussed in our previous video the condition of simply supported beam with UDL on entire span. So for simply supported beam with UDL on entire span maximum bending moment equation that is m is equal to wl square by 8. 
so for this condition maximum bending moment or moment of resistance that is w l square by 8 here w that is given 10 multiply length is given 5000 mm so 5000 square divided by 8 how this equation comes m is equal to w l square by 8 that we already discussed in our previous video so here for this condition maximum bending moment that is capital m is equal to 10 multiply 5000 square divided by 8 and again there is a second condition that second condition is simply supported beam with central point load so simply supported beam with central point load maximum bending moment equation that is m is equal to w l by 4 we already derived this equation in our previous video so please watch this video how this equation comes so maximum bending moment that is w l by 4 for simply supported beam with central point load so here in our case there is a simply supported beam and there is a central point load so maximum bending moment m is equal to w l by 4 here value of w that is given 30 into 10 raised to 3 multiply l L that is given 5000 divided by 4. So here first we calculate maximum bending moment of this beam. So maximum bending moment equation that is capital M is equal to W L square by 8 plus W L by 4. So here 10 multiply 5000 square divided by 8 plus 30 into 10 raised to 3 multiply 5000 divided by 4 so solve this equation we get maximum bending moment or you can say that moment of resistance that is capital m is equal to 68.75 into 10 raised to 6 newton per mm so in our first step we use two condition here in our question there is two condition is given simply supported beam udl over entire span so maximum bending moment that is w l square by 8 second condition is given simply supported beam with a central point load so maximum bending moment that is w l by 4 here w that means a uh, load acting on the beam so here udl acting that is 10 newton per mm and here central point load that is 30 into 10 raised to 3 newton so put the values and we get maximum bending moment that is capital m is equal to 68.75 into 10 raised to 6 newton per mm in our next step we have to find moment of inertia and distance of extreme fiber from neutral axis in our previous theory of pure bending we derive one equation that is f by y is equal to capital e by r so f is equal to y multiply e by r here value of modulus of elasticity and radius of curvature that is constant clearly bending stress depends on the value of y if y increases then bending stress is also increases so in our previous theory we see that bending stress is zero at y is equal to 0 and if we increase the distance from neutral axis so value of bending stress is also increases so at point ac bending stress is maximum here we use same concept here we find distance y so y that is the distance of extreme fiber from neutral axis here we take y that is maximum because here we calculate the maximum bending stress so here d is given 300 mm this is a neutral axis so y is equal to that is d by 2 so 300 divided by 2 that is 150 mm so here in our question we write y is equal to 150 mm next we find value of moment of inertia so moment of inertia about xx axis that is i is equal to bd cube by 12 so what is the value of b b that is the 200 mm so 200 multiply what is the value of d that is 300 mm so 300 cube divided by 12 so calculate moment of inertia so we get answer i is equal to 450 into 10 raised to 6 
and what is the unit of inertia that is mm raised to 4 so we get value of moment of inertia that is i is equal to 450 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4 put all this value in our formula that is m by i is equal to f by y here we write formula m by i is equal to f by y here we calculate maximum bending stress so f is equal to m by i multiply y so value of maximum bending moment that we get 68.75 into 10 raised to 6 newton per mm so put the value here that is 68.75 into 10 raised to 6 and value of moment of inertia that we find 450 into 10 raised to 6 so here value of i that we write 450 into 10 raised to 6 multiply y value of y that is 150 mm so multiply 150 here 10 raised to 6 10 raised to 6 cut solve this equation so we get value of maximum bending stress that is 21.9166 newton per mm square So in this way, we easily calculate numericals related to bending stresses in beams. Thank you.